Looks like we got some reanimated leaks of Attack on Titan, the final season part 2's Blu-ray. Shut up and sit down. Yo, what's good? It's the Boydie Reviews, and we got some more images courtesy of that wonderful Twitter channel that posted these. Thank you very much. So let's just get straight into this. First up, we got Grisha holding baby Aaron. It looks like this shot might have been reanimated, so I'll have to await for my Blu-ray to fully confirm if this is a reanimated scene or not. They added a blur filter on the Jaeger parents in this shot. Aaron looks stone cold in the TV version, but in the Blu-ray, he actually has some emotions in his eyebrows. Aaron and Zeke are both being illuminated by the light of the candle in this shot in their Blu-ray. And it looks like the two guards standing next to Kenny the Ripper are a lot closer to him in the Blu-ray as well. They redrew Grisha's face in this shot as well. Marpa reduced Aaron's streak lines going down his eyes and they redrew his face slightly. His eyes, lips and eyebrows have a slight change to them. Honestly, this Blu-ray version is a massive improvement. Some added highlights to Grisha's pen in this shot. They added more detail to this shot of Grisha's pen in the Blu-ray. This wide shot of the Jaeger household is a little bit different. While Carla looks more or less the same, Mikasa, Aaron and Grisha, as well as the older version of Aaron and Zeke have a lot more detail on them. Look at their hair, their clothes, everything has more wrinkles and shadows. They made Zeke's beard a lot more neater in the Blu-ray and his expressions seem a lot more softer. Both Grisha and Aaron's faces look a lot more different in the Blu-ray. Aaron's face is longer and his eyes and nose are redrawn as well as Grisha. Plus you can see the slight difference in Grisha's jacket. This shot of Grisha showing Aaron the key is slightly redrawn. You actually see more of Mikasa in this shot. Aaron's face is drawn differently when he's a baby. The camera camera is slightly zoomed back a bit more and Aaron's expressions are softened a little bit and Grisha's face is redrawn. Did Grisha's Blu-ray version hit the gym or something? This shot is vastly different with the added bonus of Aaron and Zeke looking at Grisha which was actually in the manga. Grisha's face is redrawn as well and his expressions in the Blu-ray look a lot more startled than his horrified look in the TV. It looks like from this image the Blu-ray got rid of this close-up shot of Frieda and her family and up to that with a wide shot. Grisha's face is looking a lot different in the Blu-ray and Aaron and Zeke's face are both redrawn and they look much better in the Blu-ray version. Marpa not only reduced the streak lines on Aaron and Grisha's eyes but it looks like this shot is slightly redrawn. Aaron's clothes, his lips, his nose completely redrawn in this shot with a slight eyebrow left of Zeke in the Blu-ray. This entire sequence of Frida looking concerned is completely redrawn. Mainly the highlights in her eyes, her eye shapes, her eyebrows, her nose, everything is completely redrawn and they added a sweat drip going down her cheek so I'll dive deep into this once I get my copy of the Blu-ray. While Frida's face looks a lot more like her character design in this shot, less pointy nose, there are some noticeable changes if you know what I mean. This scene looks like it was reanimated as well. You actually see one of the Rice children's face out in the TV but in the Blu-ray she's completely covered. Marpa reduced the streak lines on Grisha's face in the Blu-ray and his beard is reduced quite a bit in this shot. Not only are the three Jaeger boys positioned a lot better but the camera is zoomed out quite a bit it. So we see more of the Rice family in the Blu-ray shot than in the TV. And the Jaeger boys jackets are completely redrawn. Marpa added more shadows under Grisha's eyes in this shot. The only major change I see in this shot is Frida's face. You get to see more purple in her eyes in the Blu-ray shot. Damn, Aaron looks like a menace in this wide shot. I really like this Blu-ray change of Grisha. You really do see the concern of Rory in his eyes. This shot reanimated as well. And they added more light reflections to the right side of his cheek. You see more detail on Grisha's hand as he's gripping the knife. As well as the knife having slightly more highlights and detail. Another shot that looks like it was reanimated with Grisha kneeling down. His face is completely different in the Blu-ray shot. Grisha looks far skinnier in the Blu-ray shot but I much prefer his expression than those dot eyes we got in the TV. But mate, did they really have to redraw Aaron's face as he's glaring at Grisha? I think it worked in the TV. They didn't have to change it but I guess it makes him more menacing. Zeke looks a lot taller in this shot and his face is redrawn. Slightly more detail on the close-up shots of the eyes of Grisha and Aaron. And of course this shot I shot at the beginning of the video of Grisha while the TV version looked pretty dope, I must admit the Blu-ray is a massive improvement. There's so much more fluidity and consistency in his face. Good lord, they uncensored the Rice family being slaughtered. All the smoke added pillars are completely removed. More blood, more disgusting graphic imagery. We got this scene of Aaron jumping out of the hardening shell in episode 78. As you can see, they added a few more keyframes of him rotating. Thanks to TOS for posting this. And those are all the major changes so far from those leaked images. Tell me in the comments down below what you guys thought of episode 79's changes. Do you like them? Do you hate them? 
Are you impressed or dissatisfied? Tell me. Like this video, subscribe for more Attack on Titan TV vs Blu-ray comparisons, rankings and more. But thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Audio Review signing out.